Yo, this is the body that I call you representing for the dub corner. This up, big up yourself. Yeah, yeah. Hear yeah, me, man. I be up full vibes in at the dub corner, you know. Full Vibes is a fun and freestyle podcast focused on music, music business, television, books, news, and current affairs. Enjoy. 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 Yeah, man, don't know. Bless up yourself, yo. Um, welcome to the Upful Vibes podcast, yes, am I? And this week, you know, it's just a little telephone conversation between me and Neil Chambers, you know, we we're talking about the the perfect key rhythm, you know, um, perfect key rhythm which features Mama by Christopher Martin, Somewhere by Chronix. You know, check it out if you have a chance. It's available on all streaming platforms. Hope you enjoy, isn't it? And check me out on social media at Dale Virgo on any platform and just leave a comment. See him? Enjoy the episode. Bless him. Yeah, yeah, my a real music, real music creator, and I give thanks for the listen. I mean, uh, you know, I actually met with him in 2005. Oh, well, <laughs> and the I rhythm still so fresh. Yeah, I released it in 2012, and the original no. name of the rhythm was Duns River Rhythm. <laughs> 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 you know, so we used to just, we used to just sit down and just make some holy for rhythm and say, and just. You know, um, just put them down, you know, and right now I have millions of rhythms in my ass now. And then one day, you know, but then I'm then at the studio, I'm just, you know, start, I had some little stuff on it. Then I was in a session yeah. with uh, this artist named Divine Brown. And, mm. you know, um, I played it for her and I'm a virgin Andre Cooks with Dede and I love it. And I'm say, yo. And then she wrote a song on it called Melody of My Heart. And, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Andre said to me, say, yo, you know, me need for juggle this, you know. Andre said to me, say, yo, this is a juggle. You know? Yeah, man. Reading bad, man. Bad. Mm. Uh, and yeah. I was at G-Jam at the time. And then, you know, I said, ah, you know what? Probably me need juggle it. And then I sent it to Cecile. And yeah. Cecile loved it, yo. And she, she, um, she sent it to Christopher Martin and they wrote, the mama tune, you know? Yo, and then the mama tune, tune is forever there in my heart, man. Mama <laughs> tune is a... No, I'm mm-hmm. not. I tell you, man. Anytime no, you hear the mama tune, man, I will leave a pull up that yet, man. Mm. The best mama tune ever, you know? I mean, yes, that man. tune that will never die, you know? You understand? Ma- mother. Yo, yo li- listen to me, man. You see the mama tune where Chris do? <laughs> it is a tune where I rate our I compare it just like oh, Mona, listen to that silly Indian the uh, mama. I hope there's some rate that mama tune it. Trust me. Yeah, man, I give thanks. I actually did do an next version of it now. I did a like a uh, acoustic version of it as up for the album, you know. And then mm. um, African King with Cecile. Yes. You know, uh, so Cecile, because. Cecile they linked me up back with um Christopher Martin, you know. Yeah. And um Cecile voice African King Chum and you know, it was at a time this was twenty twelve, you know, so this yeah, was at yeah. a time where, you know, she had reached out to Africa Wally, you know, me just I get back in at the game and them time, you know, Afrobeat not really bust out yet, you know, but the African in my listen to Jamaican music them you know, you see me? Yeah, yeah, definitely because to be honest, <laughs> that, 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 yeah, you remember that that tune I personally, personally, yeah. um, yeah, yeah. Mm. was one of the first um Afrobeat Col- tune them like in yeah, the Col- new era. We get Colada, Col- 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 yeah. They do a version of it as well. Yeah. And business yeah. signal they do a version of it. Yeah, yeah, it mad man, it mad. Mm. What you know? 
to be honest, when we talk to a lot of Africans who, who are influenced by the dance hall and, and, and the reggae, really and truly, mm-hmm. they give homage and say, boy, is the listening of all of these things and styles really have gotten them to that level. But nowadays, internationally, when we look back and I hear some people and I do them interview and, and think, you know, yeah, they might give much homage to the dance hall or the reggae. It's like they might say, them, them come out of the underground from nowhere, you know? I mean, but all right, let's, let's be honest here, you see? We know, we know that um, Afrobeat was directly influenced by dancer. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Yeah, we know that. That is a fact. You yeah. understand? Yeah. And dance music, reggae music, and all of our music that we have in Jamaica was influenced by Africa. That is true. So really and truly, yeah. Mama asked you a question. I mean, I know that we, we always do have to get credited and say, yo, Jamaicans do this, uh, we do this, and we do that. Do we really need to all the time? Well, no, I, w- I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say all the time, but this is where the unity comes into place and 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 each one help one because when you really well, look at it well that yeah but but as like jamaicans i'm gonna say the jamaicans them really are endorse the african them so much well that are true are and that, that's a that's a you know, that, that's a mistake so, on so, our part. So, exactly because we always of course and complain say yo drake and this person and that person are Justin Bieber, whoever, mm. you know, take with dance hall and we not get credited and we not make no money. Yeah. You know, I mean, that goes to the point, you know, I mean, sometimes we focus on the wrong thing. And I say we as Jamaicans, you yeah. understand? Yeah, yeah, that is true. That is true. But this is what I believe, you know, for just make music. Nice, and nice. just stop worrying about things, just make music. Yeah. You know, if we feel like, Oh, I big up the African them. Hey, let's big it up. Let's not everything do have to be transactional or conditional. You know what I'm saying? True, true, true. Like the African them do them thing, you know? Yeah. We love what them do. Yeah. No respect to them, you know. Yeah, gonna support up. them. We're gonna support dance out to you. You know what I'm saying? We just do yeah. things. We can coexist. Yes, Everybody man. Everybody can coexist. Yes, man. Then I want so do we we study them, you know? Yeah, we show the I world act like a cycle. Yes, man, son of that. Oh, you think the plane come into place? Yeah, man, <laughs> you use you know watch the bird them and take off, man. That's why the plane them have wing and and, 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 and wheels will come out like when the birds them land, man. Mm. Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. Yeah, man. So with African King Yo know, in 2012, them time that we are do reggae tunes like and you know the African them are zoning from our culture more because you know. The internet kind of opened up the world a lot more, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, so the, in, the internet and the advent of social media opened up so that, yo, them, do I to listen to them local. You can go find YouTube and play yes. the stuff, then. Yes, yes, yes. So, let me tell you about the rest of you, them. Yeah, man. Oh, sorry, you didn't ask something. Yeah, man. They actually, I said no. Um, with... Sometimes me you know me liaise with artists from time to time, and them say, "Boy, mm-hmm. them happy." I listen to the rhythm, man. The rhythm talk to them, and them come up with them thing and all of that. But me you now listening to this rhythm, the melody is so sweet. And anytime me hear a rhythm with a melody, we so sweet. They get the rocking and moving. It, 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 it. But then now me I look on it and I say, "Boy." to him but you as the man who create the instruments them and um, line them up when you ever speak to you you come up with all of this brother <laughs> well i mean i'm just influenced by my vibe and environment okay and okay. you know just for example like perfect key for me i i said i did the rhythm in 2005 right original so I was just making another reggae rhythm. Okay. Then in twenty in twenty twelve now when we go back to the old rhythm and say, Okay, let me gentrify it. You understand? Yeah. And then my daddy had my vibe it and 
you know, I'm going to put in a little R&B flair, right? Yes. And I'm going to change up the drums, them. You understand? Mm. I make the drums, them kind of flow. You know, um, it have the reggae, but it have a little soul vibe to it. You understand? Yeah. And it was a little bit different because them time, they, you know, a drop leaf rhythm and them thing that are on the place. True, you know? true. Sure, sure. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So, and, and me naturally, you know, when I'm making music, my life for just, um, my life for just, you know, I mean, just go go with the feel and the vibe and the energy and the mood. Okay. You know? Okay, yeah. Sometimes probably who there in the room with me as well, you know, sir? Oh, same, When me same. work on it, you know, gear that kind of vibe. Yeah. And luckily, one of the first artists and one of my on it was Divine Brown. She's from, um, she's from Canada. Okay. She's Jamaican though. Is, is she Jamaican? I think she's Jamaican. Okay. I need to double check. Mm. Canadian with another studio. So she have the R and B vibe already. You yeah, know, yeah. so with me a fusion that it gave a nice vibe because yo, you have a bridge part tonight you know down in another rhythm, you know. Yeah. Where, you know, it have a turnaround, you know, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, really hear them thing there again in our reggae music. That are true, know? that are true, that are true. Mm-hmm. That are true. And the other thing I'm um, so, what you actually do mm-hmm. is because me I listen to all the chronics one and I realize that even with the chronics one you have some changes where you put in it like you personalize it for him and some minor changes but it, it, you still maintain the core of the rhythm and it's bad yeah yeah mm-hmm. I mean two, uh, two chronics tune upon it you have African King remix oh. and you have Somewhere so with the Somewhere yeah. You know some big tune. Somewhere was actually one of the one of Chronic's biggest tunes um, on yes. YouTube before him dropped him last project. Nice. But with somewhere, yo, um, with somewhere, when my dad saw check it, yo, he, he came into the studio and you know, I mean, my son had written before him, write it and everything, and you know, I mean. Chronics the kind of have an idea or him the way to sing it to So it yeah. was so so much easy. Yeah. Yeah, that's on. Was so much easier. And then you know, we actually did it in two sessions. And the link me down in Portland. You know, the first session, um, yeah. you know, him just vibe the idea and everything and him say, Yo, this will might come back tomorrow for come sing the song again, you see me? And then him come again and I'm sing oh, the song and nail it. You understand? Wow. And man have been wow. arm and them and everything what all of them ideas that you know the thing already, you see me? I'm just saying, yeah, yo, when I say that, I yeah. say, yo, it, it make it, it when an artist know what I'm doing sometimes, you know, I mean, yeah. I just like to augment that, you understand? I don't want to disturb it, you understand? I'm just yeah, yeah, with yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, nice, nice. So, and then, same time, even when they come back the next day, um, but tell him, say, yo, come with the voice to see the tune already on the rhythm. So I said to him, say, yo, yeah, Chronix, I want do a remix with you and Cecile um, with the African King remix. So the next day yeah. when I come back, we we'll just, we we'll just chop up the thing same time and splice me in and everything and just make the remix. Just, you know, I mean, yeah. and, as I said, as I said, going through the rhythm, you know, I try to make every single song different, you know, because yeah. make the rhythm flow and move with what the person is saying, you know? Yeah, So, yeah. like, the remix, you know, I kind of change up some stuff tonight. You know, um, but they got more R&B with some parts of it. I mean, they either they try like a dubstep kind of thing on it, you know, I'm going to put, like, a little sound system thing. Oh, I was yeah. around a lot of English people, so... You know, that influence that they rub off from me because them love Jamaican culture. Yeah, and love yeah, yeah. Love system vibe, isn't it? Right. So, yeah. Mm. So, so, all right. So, so, with, all right. You see, the other people that moved up on the rhythm now, you have uh, Sophia Squire. Yeah. Um, she does a song named Real Love. A virgin one with her, they do some. So, yeah, I'm an artist and, you know, I'm bring down Sophia Squire and my voice are upon it. You know, and yes. then Angel Smith there hang around with them time and then voice talk up on it. You know, and yeah, it's a nice little project. Now a couple more people would advise on it, you know, and you know yeah. but they just 
But they just say, yo, you know what? The best song them have to come out on a project. Yeah. Whenever they just uh, put out a rhythm with just a bunch of artists on it, you know? Okay, and okay. At, at that time, you know, with a, track, a, a rhythm project with just nine songs or eight songs on it. Yeah. Wasn't wasn't something that was happening at that time. When people that put out jugglings at that time, it was about 12 tune, no, not 13, 15 Th- tune man of yeah. voice. Yeah, true, true. Mm. It was it was a different time, but you know, I mean, but give thanks. One other thing is, uh, with Perfect Key Rhythm, I released this project as the first project under the DZL Records label. You understand? I yeah. had I had I had another label, um, Dizzy Lab Production, you know, okay. and um, I had a gospel label called Holy Ground Records. You know, and I was in Portland. I was working at G Jam. Yes. You know, and I said to myself, "Yo, you know, I was away from everybody, all of my friends, all of the artists, everybody." And I say, "You know, I need to drop a project. You know, I need to drop a juggling." Yeah. Um, Cecile, who is one of my friends, was encouraging me to, you know, drop a project. You know, because the people nice. might forget about me. <laughs> You know, yeah. and I said, ah, I'm gonna drop yeah, a project. You're in the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was cool. It's cool. I mean, I was, I was, you know, it, it was almost as if I was in America. <laughs> the way, the way I was so disconnected from everybody. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so, so yeah. So, on that standpoint, um, you know, I decided to to work on the project. Mm-hmm. You know, and I said, you know, I wanted this project to be one that people can look upon and say, yo, them know who um them know who this is or this is what this is production so like because you know, a lot of people saw me in other studios and yes. was wondering who me. Yeah. You understand all people that know say, yo, me is a producer. Me that does serious dance by Egyptian, me do some other kind of rhythms and so on and me they do that's how yeah. people need, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there wasn't anything else. So at that point in my life, I say, yo, here we are going, boom. Mm-hmm. You know, but I should drop this project that cement who I am, and it actually did. Nice, nice. So tell me something though. Them artists yes. I would, 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 would go up on the project, uh, like I'll, me, me don't know about the Sophia Square and, and, and the Divine Bro, but. Them link you ask and, and go back down your memory lane some of the time or the, the whole vibe and the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, I mean, yeah, some of them do, you know, and we link them and talk to them every now and then. Mm-hmm. You know, and they're they're evil. Most of the artists are evil saying to me that, hey, this is me need for Japanese <laughs> juggling, me need for Japanese. But that, that me just there like, get to yeah, yeah. that me just there like, get to like for instance, let's say a person now hear this with the man as them say it, I speak to them. I want to get something out in mm. the 2021. Yeah. You would have, or you would have mm. feel about going back and opening up this this thing because to me, this thing, it, it, it have a longevity to it. You know, you know, sir. Yeah, you know, so you're right. I actually have some ideas to um, go back. I, I, I made a new version of the rhythm. Wow. And the new version of the rhythm, um, the new version of the perfect key rhythm have, you know, it, it's different. It's more R&B. Okay, okay. You know, and it have more changes in it and everything. Even more R&B than the current one. You know, with guitars in it and so on. But at the same rhythm. Nice. So, I, I am thinking of adding more artists to the rhythm and probably releasing a, a ninth anniversary edition of it, you know, like next year. Oh. We drop a new project. Yeah. You know, a deluxe edition, blah, blah, blah. Perfect key rhythm. Nice, nice. What, what do you think about that? Yeah, man, I think that would have shot, man. Something I've been thinking about. Yeah, man, I think that would have shot, definitely. Okay. I think for, for, for us, as, as musicians and all, when these gems come around, mm-hmm. it is always good to dust them off 
and revitalize, shine them up and you know? Yeah man. Perfect man. Alright, my god my god. I already start link up some artists already. Yes. You know, and, and so on. But the the key thing for me is that the song them are for slap. Yeah. No lame song. Yeah, man. After slap. After a land yeah. them thing. And mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. And so, you know, um, it's a nice project. Anybody who listen to this podcast will never hear Perfect Key Rhythm. Um, the Perfect Key Rhythm is has songs like Mama by Christopher Martin, African King by Cecile, Real Love by Sophia Squire, um, Soldier Love by Ike, oh, Soldier Love by Ike, yeah. yeah. Ike has tuned us dope, yo. Like, remember, she come down at G Jam, I was down at the studio, and me, she, and, um, I'm there again, um, Artist man, DJ artist, so you should pirate con- conscience. Oh. Anyway, yo, she, 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 um, she, um, virgin, come down at the studio and, um, you know, it's just, oh, shit, that tune up on the spot and everything, yeah. it was just so visual and everything. Man. You know, she had talk about social love, mm-hmm. you know, and she had talk about, you know, um, on the battlefield and all of that and so <laughs> I mean, it's, one of the things with, with I care though is that when she the songs are much fluently yeah. right and the song them were <laughs> were involved some violence or some badness, <laughs> you know? She have a she have a song out now named sexy badness. <laughs> is it? Bad stuff. Yeah. But yeah, she's gang stuff on it, yo, is it? Okay. And they don't know so um start my line, you know? But yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. the thing, you know. But she are, she's such a dope singer. She's so, she has so much sides and styles to her, so, you know. Nice. So that nice. was great working with um, I Care. Mm-hmm. Um, but to tell you about the Connex experience, Angel Smith, they are par with me them time. So yo, trust me. I mean, that you there is a is a you uh, Jamaica sleep on. There's so much talent here in Jamaica. Yeah. But you know, I mean. <laughs> They must sleep on a you there. You understand? I so, think yeah. one of the I think one of the problem with, with with Jamaica or what not really problem, but one of the core things them where you used to drive the industry that is missing is that first time when the, the, the music usually be um at the forefront and on the international stage and mm-hmm. all of that. The people the guys who are doing the music, them usually link up regular. A whole heap of linkage usually go on, a whole heap of collab usually go on and all of these things. We need to get back yeah, to there. So, yeah. You know? Yeah, because the, the juggling um the juggling culture kind of gone. It's not that there again. You know, man, now I go up on juggling with our next artist. Come on, man. This yeah, is what yeah. made us so different from America. I mean, you want to you wanna do everything just like America, you know? Mm, so, yeah. True, true. We 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 lose our culture um, year by year, you know. Um, some aspects of our culture, the stakeholders in mean, Jamaica need to ensure say yo it stay. You yeah, understand? Yeah. Juggling shouldn't die out too. Juggling is something that should go on. Yo, me the tunes with artists recently. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. And we we'll put them upon the rhythm. Them don't know where the rhythm come from or anything. You know, you see me? And then. Yeah. Um, when I'm here, somebody else on the rhythm, it's like the more I have a problem, like, come on. Yeah. Is it? Like, artists who are, nowadays, who are, when they go on the rhythm, are them alone in the mm. For what reason? What benefit is that for you? Yeah, yeah. for real. And as I, you rightfully mentioned, that was part of the culture where everybody love, everybody yeah. cling on to that, you know? Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, there come are some on. things you know what it is? It is the the current the current artist of the day right now. Um, yeah. The young artists them nowadays, what they are doing? I'm going on YouTube. I'm listening to all of this American content in terms of how Americans do it. Yeah. You know, and what to do and all of that, and not really understanding and not really linking it to our culture. There isn't any outlets out here, any education of you know, um, 
the industry and how things work. A lot yeah. of people in the Jamaican music industry don't even know any business practices. You True. understand? True. So the people them who try to learn more, them go up on YouTube and them get all them do things in America and just stick by it. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah. And we are lose of culture out here. You understand? Yeah, man. So, you know, I mean, every day I go up on YouTube and I see a new Jamaican podcast, I'm yeah. happy. Yeah. You understand? Because, you know, we are putting our culture out there. You know, there's a lot of American content out there. You understand? True. But I don't think that is going to help us. No, no, no. So, to the artists, them, when they link up, man, we have to create a bridge there for go through uh, 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 and, 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 and stop the gap. You know? The, the more gaps we can stop, the better it is for us. Because I guess what um, We travel worldwide, you know? Jamaican love the culture, you know. And just we alone are, 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 are hold back each other. And trust me, if we stay and build a thing, people are gonna fly back. Because I remember first time the big label them come. All of these big people will come as long as we keep the thing going and, and, and keep it on that level there, you know? So yeah, mm-hmm. I agree with the boss. Things need yeah, to change man, man. and change in a positive way, you know? So the first time you usually have some man I say, yo, a town, you have to go forget the thing. No. Cause right now, country man they might do them thing, but everybody still need to link up and stop everybody create this separation. Them. The east and the west. I know I know so the thing that's it, brother. Everybody nah, usually nah. link up and the thing exactly. flourish. You get me as a yeah man. Exactly. Real time. I will people usually divide the thing, car. Back in them days, eh, people usually say, yo. Dennis Brown better than Bob Marley or Bob Marley better than Dennis Brown. But the man them still link up and do them thing. But exactly. much people not talk about them thing there, you know? People make it look like, yo, the man them not do them thing and rah, 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 rah. Yeah, man, we don't want to do better. So come if we do better, man, uh, keep the industry going, keep it vitalized and energized because we want small that, you know, but yet still the whole world look one way, especially when it come on to a culture, you know? True, true. Yeah, man. Yeah man, really? and a whole heap a whole heap of people I had don't love dance, but guess what? In Russia, the people them love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the people them love it. it watch it. Remember one at one at the time, France I say at them are the origin for reggae, and at them <laughs> are the maker, reggae maker. Can you believe that? No man, <laughs> we need to. No man, we need to make a stamp, man, and, and, and put the things in order and get things going and guess what I'm? it start with us as musicians yeah as True. artists yeah because mm-hmm. nobody else not gonna do it for we until we really unite you know when we unite the music we're serious about the thing and then the thing will just start everything will just start falling in place you get that, me that is a problem that is a problem why you know we have so much um stagnation in jamaica no but people don't want to work together or people find it hard to work together Mm. You know, and it is a real problem. You know, um, one thing you can't say about the white man, them. I'm yeah. not a white man in a derogatory way, but when I say white man, I'm talking about Americans, British people, and all of that. Them work together. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. How much of them have law firms or them partner together, or yeah. record companies or labels that partner together, and all of this stuff. Them work together. You know, mm-hmm. and True. it benefit them, and it benefit them. We in Jamaica need to learn how to work together as artists, creatives, and all of that stuff. You know, yeah. so yeah, man, Neil, yo, thanks for coming through up on the Up Full Vibes podcast, my brother. And you don't know all of the yeah, people who are out there who not hear. Um, I mean, Neil actually heard heard the full project right before we went on this call for the podcast. <laughs> yeah man, so, you know, bad I mean, bad, and the, bad bad project. Yeah, I go back, I go back and listen to to some more I took us. I enjoy the vibe, you know. Yeah man. Yeah man, yeah man, yeah man. And thanks to pass through, brother. And yo, no respect yo. And big up yourself. And yo, all the way I say yo, make sense yo. I just want the youth some out there. Just take heed yo. You see me? Ah, uh, big up my boy. Right, my people bossy. out there, look for the perfect keys. Read him shot. Big up yourself, Diesel and Diesel. Mad. Ah, uh, uh, bless up, brother. Bless.
Yo, this is the body that I can represent him for the Dove Corner. This up, big up yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my man. I'll be up full vibes in at the Dove Corner, you know.